Music Guy says, what are your thoughts on Iran's currency recently shrinking by 2.8%? Damn. Um, that would bring the total to a 31.5 reduction in the last six months. Jesus. What type of effects does this have on the country and regular people? Also, will this cause Iranian leaders to compromise their demands from the nuclear deal? Well, Armin, this is something we talk a lot about behind the scenes, and you so take it away. Um, I mean, okay, so the effect on the people has been devastating. People's um, purchasing power has been dramatically been reduced in the past decade in Iran, and it's like it's it's the the speed of it, of it reducing is only been accelerating in the past um i don't know two two years or so it, it has been devastating it has been devastating and it's not all because of sanction it's also a lot of it has been because of really bad mismanagement um the iranian government still believes in the old model of you know command economy where they set the prices where they decide how much uh production of things need to happen where they limit uh what what get what comes in the country you know i mean like you know um they limit what trades can be taken place it's it has been very devastating and also the way that they have managed um you know um agriculture has been really devastating the water supply everything and they put they put the most unqualified people in charge of the economy based on um you know based on who's in their who supports the right people and it's, mo it's mostly based on uh, how supportive you are of the right people in the regime for you to get the positions rather than actually having the proper qualification it has, it's getting even worse um and you know it's also because of iran's uh, the islamic republics of you know adventures in their region when it comes to them meddling in other countries is isolating them not like it's not just the u.s guys like iran iran's government is isolating its economy from many other countries as well because of the headache that they're causing even its allies now like even iraq and syria and the Lebanese people are getting frustrated with how much Iran is, Iran's government is meddling in the country. And even the p countries that are supposed to be their natural allies, there's now uh, a lot of conflict within these countries, whether um, how much, cl how close they want to get to the government, right? So again, all of this, some people think that it's going to get to a breaking point where people have lost so much that they have nothing to lose and eventually it will lead to mass protests i don't know to the extent where it will topple the government i don't think that is likely but however what i've seen recently is that it's becoming so popular in iran to complain about the economy that now it's turning um the what do you call the fund the right um the hardliners right um, it, it's turning hardliners and hardliners, right? So I think the major threat in the Iranian government is not from the people or from the reformists or from foreign actors. Um, it's mostly that the, the, it's getting so bad that the hardliners are complaining about the, the situation in the economy. So the hard, like you could see like in the Congress in Iran, in the Majlis, uh, well, Parliament, I think. Yeah, in the, par in the Parliament, you could see that very very right-leaning hardliners are coming out and they are so aggressively openly uh, speaking uh, badly about the government and how horrible the economic situation is like very very passionately so you can see the hardliners um to see that this is not like and we see like some of some very very religious mullahs uh, coming out and saying that we need to open up to the rest of the world. This isolationism is not working out, right? Like, and some hardliners are going after the mullahs and saying, how dare you say that after what you saw with the nuclear deal, how Trump betrayed us. Now you're saying that we should open to the world. But there's a major uh, conflict. Um, what was the second part of that question? Because I, I wanted to address that. Um, yeah. How will this affect yeah. the JCPOA? Right. So here's the thing. When it comes to, when you say how the, how will this cause the Iranian leaders 
Will this cause the Iranian leaders to compromise? But you have to understand that the Iranian leaders contradict each other, right? Um, there is a major push right now with the Raisi administration to find a way. Um, okay, so there are contradictory. There are some people within the regime that do not want the deal to go through. Okay, that they're just buying time, or if they want the deal to go through, they want the deal to go through with as much delay as possible, right? Because the 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 longer it takes for Iran to go to the deal, the more they have enriched uranium in the meantime, and th that means that they it will be they will have an upper hand when it comes to either doing a deal, and if they don't ever do a deal, they will get to a position where they're so close to having a nuclear weapon without having it, which they think it will even effectively have the deterrent uh, properties of effectively having a nuclear weapon, right? Um, so there are different philosophies in, within, when it comes to the hardliners in Iran. Some of them believe that screw the deal, we shouldn't be negotiating with the United States ever again. Um, some of them are like, dude, like we cannot not have a deal. Um, the sanctions are crippling our economy. Um, and the ones who think that are used to uh, are can't openly say that because most hardliners are against any deal. But so the hardliners that want a deal, they are trying to find a way to advocate that without openly saying that because they don't want other hardliners to basically show like, oh my God, look at you. How could you be a hard, how could you be in our camp when you're advocating for making a deal with the United States? Okay. And there are some other hardliners that are in between. They're like, eventually we will have some form of a deal, but we will have a deal with as much delay as possible. So they keep stalling. They keep like maybe tomorrow. But the the horrible thing is that the Iranian people are paying the price because this is a, this is having a devastating effect on the people's lives in Iran. But the Iranian regime they care more about the nuclear capabilities because it will ensure that they will stay in power. So they're sacrificing the wealth of their people with over something that will guarantee that they maintain the power, uh, they, they will get to keep ruling over the people. Anyway. And it's such a shame because Iran has the potential to be an economic powerhouse. Um, yeah. And poor Gossam is saying, I should not have watched the stream. I just quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, wait, wait, I wanted to add something else. Oh yeah. It, for, people must understand when they say that, you know, the nuclear, this is not about nuclear energy. This is absolutely about nuclear weapons, okay? Mm -hmm. um, nothing, when it comes to nuclear energy, nothing Iran does uh, when it comes to pursuing a, a nuclear energy makes any economic sense. This is all about having a deterring effect over becoming a powerhouse in, in the region, right? Um, and having having some a leverage to pressure the rest of the world to have to deal with um, Iran. Okay, so and again, given that this has makes no economic sense, all of the economic price that Iran has paid uh, for its nuclear ambitions far outweigh any potential benefits that they could get from nuclear energy. And this means that again, the Iranian regime has sacrificed the wealth of its people for its own ambition for the ambitions of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.